Hello everyone. In this video, let us talk about the significance of FFT shift while converting an image from spatial domain to frequency domain. So, in the context of image processing, the 2D Fourier transform of an image maps the spatial domain pixel value to the frequency domain, where the image content is represented in terms of spatial frequencies. Now, the zero frequency component in the frequency domain corresponds to the average intensity or the brightness of the image in the spatial domain which is also known as direct current component or it is called it is in short form we call it dc direct current component the dc component is located at the top left corner of the frequency domain matrix uh, rather than at the center so frequency uh, the direct current component is nothing but the uh, average intensity or the brightness of the image in the spatial domain and we can see that it is located at the top left corner of the frequency domain matrix. However, when we display the frequency domain image, it is customary to shift the zero frequency component to the center of the matrix, which is more uh, visually intuitive. This is done using FFT shift function in MATLAB. So, shifting the zero frequency component to the center of the matrix also has practical advantages in image processing applications such as filtering and compression. For example, a filter that is designed to remove low frequency noise from an image can be more easily applied to simply setting the low frequency component in the frequency domain to zero, which is easier to do when the DC component is at the center of the matrix. So in this diagram, you can see uh, the zero frequency component at the top left corner, which is shifted to the center by using FFT shift command. Yeah. That's all for this session. Thank you.